Hey everyone, in this session we are going to talk about how we can build approval workflow using Microsoft Power Automate. So now let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the basic scenario of every organization's leave approval process. So basically for leave approval, requester will request for a leave with a reason, start date, end date, number of days and the manager information. Now the request goes to the manager for the approval. The manager either can approve, reject or put in on hold status and when the approver will change the status, its corresponding status would be updated to this list and the notification email would go to the requester. I want to achieve this requirement using Power Automate and SharePoint Online. So now let's get started. Let me talk about how we can achieve this requirement technically. Alright, so basically I have this list structure where I have list description, start date, end date, days, manager, status and comment section. So basically my comment column is an uh, appended multi-line text column and I have enabled the version history for the entire request. Alright, now whenever the user will create a new request from this uh, new form, my flow will be triggered so i already have created a flow so let me explain this thing to you now click on the plus icon and add an action and search for the approval click on this icon and you can see here the different options now select start and wait for an approval all right now from here you need to select the different approval types all right so first of all let me talk about the first and second option so basically it will send the email notification to our approver with two buttons only that is either approve or reject all right now the third and fourth option is something where we create where we can create our own custom buttons so basically i have three status at this moment approve reject or on hold all right so at that time this last two options would be helpful to me and one more thing this will wait for all responses for an example uh, you have two project managers you have multiple project managers all right so at that time if all the managers approve the request at that time your flow should be completed so if you want to uh, achieve this type of functionality just click on wait for all responses means until and unless when every manager will not accept your leave request it will not be considered as approved all right it will be in the waited stage but if you want something like either you have two managers one of the manager will approve the request and the leave request should be approved so at that time you can use the last option wait for one response so currently i am setting a wait for one response now you can set the different response option here so basically i want to set uh, approve reject and on hold button so just type three names approve reject and on hold option so i already have performed this in this action approve reject and on hold. now in title so this is the email title that we need to uh, create that leave application generated by this person assigned to for which user we need to assign the request so i already have a column in my list manager so assigned to would be the manager email all right now in details i just type some description like uh, someone has generated this request for holiday from this date to this date for this days the reason for holiday is below all right and uh, this this is the action that i have added all right so this will send an email to your assigned to person so your manager and manager can either approve or reject or consider it as a on hold once the response is uh, whatever the response would be based on that i want to update the status so i just added an item that update item so basically it will update my sharepoint item for which the request has been created and i am uh, updating its status so its status would be uh, its status would be in a form of outcome and uh, i will also update the comments given by the approver all right 
so i am just adding these two things over here and once this action would be successful once this action would be successful i just want to send an email so i will add one action here send an email all right so you can set your two subject and email body now let me share you something like in email body how much thing will you get from your response so basically you can see here you will get this much of information as a response i have added all the columns of responses into my mail thing so you will get an idea like which are the things you will get from the response now i am saving my flow let me just remove this unwanted actions <coughs> so my ultimate flow will look like this when item is created it will start and wait for an approval then on of uh, once the approval would be come uh, in once the approval would be came in any of the status it will update the items and it will send the email notification all right so uh, now let me just save my flow and now let's trigger a flow go to the list let me just add the new item just add your live description your start it add your manager and in status i am not adding anything over here now just click on the save button now let's go to your flow and you can see here the flow is being running all right and you can say see here your flow is gone into waited stage because no one has approved this flow so uh, you can see here this email notification is came here and you can see here uh, the detail information that we have typed in our flow uh, is being shown in the email Thruvin has generated a request for one day holiday from date this to twist for one day the reason for holiday is below all right now as a approver you can either approve or on hold or reject all right one more thing that i want to say here you can set maximum five buttons for this approval process you cannot set more than five buttons over here I want to approve as an approver i want to approve the reject uh, approve the process so at that time what would, would be happen is it will approve this request and my status in sharepoint list would be updated so you can see here at this moment the status is uh, blank now based on the approver's response the status column would be updated here all right so now let me not approve but let me just reject this request and let me just add a reason all right so this is the out of the action or out of the comment provided by this approval action all right just click on the submit button and you can see here this response has been submitted successfully now just check your flow status so you can see here your flow has been uh, completed now successfully it is ran successfully all right and you would be receiving one more notification about the approval so basically i added all the columns like approval id details uh, item link outcome response summary response date all of these things so basically outcome is the name of your uh, button that you have clicked response summary is the uh, in response summary you will get who has approved your request at which time and what was the reason uh, everything is mentioned over here then uh, comments would be came into response comments all right uh, so you can try these things from your side once our flow ran successfully let's check our status in the sharepoint list and here you can see that my status has been updated with the reject status and comments are also added in the comment section when you click on this view entry tab 
you can view the comment because we have considered this comment section as multi-line uh, appended text so you can see here this is the text that has been appended over here so this is how the approval process will work into microsoft power automate hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this concept you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 9195379814671 stay if you are for the first time to my channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp also if you want to receive the daily notification from my channel just click on this link fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye